Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So I'm getting some inspiration for my next series of design tutorials from Watermelon. And this is a very summertime fruit and I've been enjoying a lot of this lately and I thought it would make a cool design motif. And so what I thought I would do is do Watermelon three ways. So we're gonna have some fun with brushes and create some experiments and create some watermelon motifs using different kinds of Photoshop brushes. So to start off with, we're going to be um, creating in this tutorial some mixer brushes and we're going to make these cool watermelon inspired uh, brush strokes like so along with some seeds. So to begin with I just sampled some colors and I made some cool different you know gradient backgrounds and so if you're a member of my Patreon you can actually um, download this file with the different gradients in it so you can have a little fun with it. And basically we're going, I'm going to show you how I use this mixer brush to create these watermelon brush strokes like this really easily. Now to start off with, I had actually created um, just an oval shape like this. And that was the foundation of my brush. And so then I defined it as a brush and then made some adjustments to it. So now I have the brush here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And it is, I've got my brush here. And it's just a, you know, oval shape. And um, on this brush, I'm using my mixer brush setting. So I created my brush, but when I open this brush, I'm opening it in the mixer brush. And so it's a pretty standard brush. I've got a little bit of spacing on it, a little bit of shape dynamics, so that the pen pressure controls the size and just a little bit of texture, but nothing too crazy. So it's just a nice basic brush. And using this brush in the mixer brush, um, we're leaving it on a dry, heavy load. So these colors are close enough that they make like a cool um, effect, but they're not going to like be super wet and blend into each other. So for that's the kind of look that I'm going for. So if you're a Patreon, you're going to have these brushes available to you. And what I do... Um, First of all, when you're using a mixer brush, you have to load some colors into your mixer brush. And some people don't know that you can load multiple colors into your mixer brush. And what's even cooler is you can load multiple colors and you can load colors from a photograph even. So you can really paint with photos. And this is how I'm saving some time and making these really cool brush strokes. So I had found this image here. And what I want to do is I want to sample that, that uh, pink color along this edge here and going into that light, you know, the white and then the green to make those brush strokes. So what I did is you can sample directly from the image, but as you notice my brush is horizontal and this is um, at an angle. So what I did is I made a selection from this image and I copied it into a new document. So now I have a layer that I can sample from. And what I did was I straightened this so that I can sample using my brush across this image here and get that green and get that pink and that nice kind of gradation. So if I grab one of my brushes here, and now these brushes will be available to you um, it, on, if you're a Patreon member, and I have them in different sizes. So I just take my brush, and now just so you know, I have this brush default loaded for you. So you can just make these really cool brush strokes like that. But if you want to play around and make it your own and make your own coloring sample, and you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Option or Alt if you're on a PC and hover over this image. Make sure you're on that layer. I'm going to hover over this image here and I'm going to Option or Alt and click. And as you can see, you can see where it's um, moving around and you can change where you're sample from. But I'm just going to kind of sample from right around here and I'm going to do an experiment and see how that turns out. And you might have to resample a few times until you get it just how you want it, like you see on my brushes. But um, I'm just going to play around there. Oops, wrong layer. Make sure you're on the layer and Option or Alt, hover over it and sample it. So I'm going to try my sample here and I will just pull down like this. And now this is cool but I, I want to make, it stops here with the white, but I want to get the green. So I know next time when I sample from this image to move a little bit over. So look where it is right here and you know learn from that. So I'm going to option and click over here and make sure I get that green in there. So now I'll go to a new layer 
And now I can see I have all those colors and it looks really cool. So that's how you can use images to, to sample and create really cool effects like this. And it just saves you son, tons of time. So that's how I went and created these brush strokes that you see over here. And what's cool is that um, if you're a Patreon member, I've saved some brushes for you and I've saved them preloaded. So you get to have a lot of fun with it and you don't have to worry about, you know, exactly doing it, um, you know, sampling it yourself. But I've got uh, the classic watermelon brush that's sampled in a 300 size. And excuse my computer, it's being a little bit slow these days. That's the 300 size. And then I have it also saved in a smaller version because one thing you have to remember about the mixer brushes is that even if you save them with the color samples already loaded, if you wanna change the size of that brush, it's gonna lose that. It's gonna lose the, the color that you have loaded. Um, so just a little word to the wise. And also I created another, another watermelon brush so that you can have the green on the other side. And let me just undo that and I'm gonna hide my little seeds here. I'm gonna make a new layer and then just show you kind of how I did that. So just take these brushes and I made this really cool brush stroke like so. And let's see here. So now we have our brush stroke down and you can, um, if you're a Patreon member, you can download this, uh, this P PSD file so you can play around with the different backgrounds, but I like that. And then I, I wanted the seeds so what I did was I created a little, let's see if we can find it here, pop this to the front. So to create the seeds, I just created a little seed shape and defined that as my brush. And then what I did was I went ahead and I um, increased the scattering of the brush and the spacing and put a little texture on it so I have this brush. And what I did is I didn't want it to be just black because seeds aren't actually black. So we're using this brush, using the color blending pattern stamp tool technique. And I'm gonna go over to my um, image here and kind of zoom in on one of these brush, these seeds here. I'm gonna get my selection tool. And what I'm gonna do is go like this over one of the seeds. And then I'm going to go to edit, define pattern, and I'll click okay. And so now, when I go over to my um, image here, I go over to my pattern stamp tool, I grab that seeds brush, and then I go up here and I select that um, pattern that I just defined from my image. And it's gonna give me these, a mix of these lovely colors of brown that the seeds are. So I can scatter like this or just make some little kind of cute accents like I did on my other one. And now I have like, it's a little bit more, I wouldn't say realistic, but it's, it's nice because it's not just super black. And then all of the colors that are in that image come out of the brush. So then you can have a little bit of fun with that. And just remember that that's a way that you can make your own color palettes for the color blending impressionist brushes using images. All you have to do is um, find an area and then go to edit, define pattern or command M if you're on a Mac, click OK. And then let's go over to our image. And if I want to select that image that I just uh, defined, then whenever we paint our brushes, all the colors that we are in that um, pattern that we just defined are gonna come out of the brushes. So. If you have any questions on this, just let me know in the comments. And let's go back to um, what we started with here. So as you can see, you can have a little fun with this and make some like abstract backgrounds. You could turn this into like a digital paper. You could turn this into uh, an invitation for cocktails. Um, all kinds of stuff. You could turn this into like a surface pattern design. So this is just to kind of give you that idea and then you can have some fun with it and apply it into one of your designs, whether you're um, 
doing something watermelon theme or not. And just remember also, you can, I'm gonna zoom out of my thing here, go to my layers, deselect, um, have some fun playing with these brushes and you know, moving over your image and option select and you know, have fun seeing, you can see the preview here. I'm gonna make a new layer and you can create all different kinds of brush strokes, not just the ones that you see. And normally the brushes won't take, uh, they're not that labor um, memory intensive, but I'm running a bunch of things in the background so my computer's a little bit slow. But you can have fun and see the different kinds of, you know, effects you can get by sampling different part of your images. So let me know if you have any questions down below and then make sure you follow along to my next tutorial, which we're also going to be having um, some watermelon inspiration, but also uh, using more of the pattern stamp tool technique for that part. So stay tuned and happy creating.